helping little warriors fight some big battles. That is the slogan of Henrik's Heroes. And here today to talk about what exactly that means and how they're doing it, we have Christy and Jana from Henrik's Heroes. Thank you so much, ladies, for being yeah, here today. Thanks for having us. Uh, this is also, once again, one of those very moving stories. Someone who has really put, um, you know, their heart into something. So first, can we start with, before we even get to the dolls, because yeah. it's a really incredible project that you have here, can you tell us your story and how, who inspired all of this? Sure. So the inspiration is really Henrik. Um, Henrik, our son, was diagnosed two years ago, a little over two years ago, at the age of four with leukemia. And he, um, we kind of revealed throughout treatment um, how we would give back and help others. And the dolls are a big part of that. But um, his story was that leukemia treatment was the normal protocol wasn't working and he ended up with a bone marrow transplant um, in August of 2018 um, and he got his blood from his little brother and he is doing amazing today. Look at those photos, adorable. Yeah. Now that's something about brotherly love there in a family who will do anything. So then let's expand into how you came up with your, because Henrik is doing well today. He's doing great, yep. And so, but yep. you're not just uh, moving on, you're remembering that oh, you want to give absolutely. back. absolutely. You know, throughout treatment, the whole the whole community and our friends and family and just so much support and prayers that we just knew from the from the very beginning when we had all of our support that we wanted to give back. Uh, we weren't necessarily sure how that would happen, but the dolls kind of just revealed themselves. So Henrik had a port when he was, when, he, when you have leukemia, you just have a port under the skin and that's what he started with. Um, he needed other things along the way, but the port access process was very scary for him. He was terrified. He was worried, you know, days before he'd have to do it and then screaming through the procedure. Um, so Stanford Ch Child Life Specialists were amazing and they were the ones that kind of started the idea of medical play and they brought in a doll to help Henrik um, that had a port. So he would pretend to access the port and he loved it. It helped a ton. Um, I didn't realize how much he was paying attention to the port access, but you know, here he is getting the, the doll in front of him and he's doing it. So look at that picture. Um, Exactly. So the doll, we made a doll with a port and then it just kind of grew and he had asked if his doll could have all the lines that he needed, including a pick line, an IV line, um, an NG tube and lots of other IVs. So it just kind of became his little cancer buddy that fought along with him and yeah, so. And so that inspired you then to yes. create more. Well, yes, lots more. So we just started, I, in seeing how much it helped Henrik and um, being a boy especially, my mom was really creative and she helped the first doll, Aaron, was the name of the Henrik doll, helped him become really a cool, cool doll, cool superhero. So she's so crafty and was able to sew, um, just like what you see here, sew some cool shirts and superhero masks and stuff. So then we started to help other friends that we had met in treatment, and the response was amazing. We just had um, so many wonderful stories of these kids that don't feel alone anymore in their treatment because they have a doll like them, whether it's ostomies, oxygen tubing, they live with a backpack full of TPN, it just the, the possibilities are endless with the dolls and it's amazing how many people out there need help with things. Sometimes loved ones, friends, family, you feel like, what can I do? You know, you want to do something. Did you ever know that this was going to be, could you imagine this is what was going to be your act it's of kindness? Than, it's more than I could have imagined. It's, it's just delightful to customize the dolls, to look like the child, and then to take whatever their interests are and give them the clothing that matches that so they really feel close to that doll. And um, we've seen a lot of uh, little kids just hugging their dolls and hearing from parents how much it has helped them. It's an incredible story, incredible what you're doing. You have a couple of things coming up. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your toy drive? Do you have a toy drive? And what, what are these go bags? Yes, so right now, what we've decided to do to give back, the dolls are a huge part of it, and there's so many other things that going through treatment, we have learned that we want to help people. Um, so what we've already started is giving the go bags to um, families that are kind of a new diagnosis, doesn't need to be cancer, just um, somebody with a big battle ahead. So we're working with Sanford Children's, and I kind of call it a get up and go bag because you always have to be ready to get up and go to the hospital, have a bag packed, ready to go with some things. So there's just some things in there that we thought were helpful during, during treatment and things that were given to us. And then as far as the toys, we, we saw the impact of the toys really a lot with Henrik because when, so Sanford Children's has toys stocked in the cupboards and the clinic, the Roger Maris Clinic has toys you know, everywhere and every time that you have a procedure or have to go through something hard, Henrik would be able to, you know, go from yelling through the port access to jumping up and asking, okay, can I go get my prize now? <laughs> so whether it was a small car or a bigger toy, it wasn't necessarily about, it was about the, 
bravery act that he did to get the toy and the toy became like a, a trophy for him. So he remembers all the toys that he got throughout treatment and he'll say, well, I, I remember that. I got that for, for doing whatever. So it was, it was really obvious that those toys would help them get I through. I think Henrik's Heroes, super mom, super grandma, this is awesome that you're continuing to, to take care of all children and all yeah. kids going through a battle, as you said. Before you go, just real quick, remember you guys on Giving Hearts Day yes. as well. Yep. So, uh, Henrik's Heroes, thank you ladies so much for what you're doing for families and kids especially. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.